Well, the markets are holding on to Monday's gains when stocks jumped on the heels of Friday's disappointing jobs report. And it sounds strange. Stocks reacting positively to a terrible jobs report, but bad economic news likely points to a delayed rate hike from the Federal Reserve, which investors think is good for stocks. So here with more analysis is David Nelson, Chief Strategist at Bell Point Asset Management. And David, amid all of this volatility and this disappointing jobs report, there were reports that former PIMCO CEO Mohamed El Arian is actually putting some of his money, or the majority of his money into cash. What do you make of that? I, I heard I heard his uh, his interview, and it looked like he had he was running some kind of barbell strategy where he's running a lot of cash on one side, and uh, riskier investments on the other, even private equity, uh, small uh, venture capital firms. Uh, Mohammed is kind of an odd odd character in, in the financial community. Uh, you know, he probably stayed bearish far too long and well into the recovery. He's certainly a brilliant man. So I, I'm not sure what to make of that. So I'll, I'll leave that to Mohammed to explain it. All right. Now, is running into cash something you would advise, or, or is that <laughs> so sounding the alarm too soon? You know, uh, what, what, what people tend to do, especially for retail investors and even professionals as well, if you use cash as an, as an asset class and then you go massively into cash because of some, some headline, the question is, when do you get back in? Mm. And most people... When you find that you're, you know, you, you know, you see a five percent correction, then you start to think, well, it's going to be ten percent. And and usually what happens is you don't get back in until you're back at at the new highs, and you actually ended up hurting yourself. There are tactical programs out there, and there are firms out there doing the, those kind of strategies that are rules based. If you're rules based and you do it and you can get it right, more power to you. All right, let's talk about the Federal Reserve. You say the Fed may have missed their window for a rate hike. Tell us more. Well, you know, it's pretty clear that they want to do something this year. And uh, as a uh, you, you know, former former PIMCO chief uh, Bill Gross said, they want to get off the dime. I suspect they may have missed the golden opportunity because instead of you know raising rates with a backdrop of a rising GDP and rising earnings, now they're faced with the economy kind of hitting a speed bump, and earnings are very suspect, certainly in the first quarter and possibly even the second. So are they going to have to wait out this rough patch potentially after 2016? <laughs> they, it seems that they're going to plow ahead. Uh, people smarter than me are, are pointing to September uh, right now. Uh, there was even a note out there, I think, from Goldman talking about a one-eighth point Fed hike. The issue is, is probably less about the timing. Uh, the ultimate ter terminal uh, you know, place to where they're going, maybe it's going to be as low as 1%. You know, so we're in a different backdrop right now. We're not going back to two, three, or four percent. So it's going to remain lower for longer. All right. And are there sectors that you're looking at right now in the markets, and any names within those sectors? Well, the the sectors that we're still in, and and uh, we're in most of them, but where we're overweight is certainly technology. Apple has been there for a pretty long time. Avago has been there for a long time in the, in the semi space. A new pickup for us is analog uh, devices. Something that we're doing a little different in the oil space is. Uh, Refiners have been really good to us, but that's starting to roll over, and, and we're starting to, 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 to get out of those positions. We're playing it through uh, Lyondell Petrochemical, LYB. Uh, they're certainly a beneficiary of oil, higher oil prices if, in fact, we've hit the bottom. But if oil doesn't go up from here, they're probably at a trough valuation and, and, and probably a good, a, good, a good place to be to play the space and, and benefit from any recovery that happens. And you say that's a safer way to play oil? I think it is, and we'll find out. Uh, I mean, the stock's well off its highs. It's not down as much as some of the oil service names, but it's a name we like right now. All right, David, we'll leave it there. David Nelson, Chief Strategist at Bellpoint Asset Management. Thanks very much for coming in. Thanks for having me. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.